Rose, thank you. We want to go now to some breaking news in Pacoima. Rich Prickett is overhead in Sky 5 HD. He is over the scene. Hi, Eric. Yeah, LA City Fire working to free a uh, construction worker that's been under this cinder block wall. Uh, this is a lot, a dirt lot that's uh, uh, between uh, some, some homes here. It looked like they're working uh, to put up a cinder block wall, and two patients uh, were for a time trapped under this wall. One person we saw was just moved over to an ambulance, appeared to be in stable condition. Another worker still underneath there. It looks like they're trying to uh, shore up the wall as best they can and delic delicately uh, remove the cinder blocks to try and free up the worker that's still pinned in there. Uh, their condition uh, still unknown at this time. This is the 10,000 block of Glen Oaks Boulevard here in the Bacoima area. Uh, firefighters have been here for about the last 25 minutes or so. Uh, doing what they can to uh, uh, free this worker here. And, of course, uh, we'll keep an eye on this and uh, bring you the latest live in Sky 5. I'm Rich Prickett. I'll send it back to you and Hollywood. Rich, uh, do you know, you see the firefighters there with shovels and hand tools. Do you know if they're going to be bringing in some kind of heavy equipment to lift up that cinder block wall to get to the person who's still underneath there? They have not mentioned that uh, as of yet. Of course, they brought in their uh, U-Star here, so uh, they are still bringing in some more uh, resources and tools, uh, everything that uh, they might need uh, for for a time being. I see that there is a, uh, a backhoe here, so I don't know if they'll put that to work at some point. But for the most part, what they're doing is they're trying to uh, basically just uh, support the wall as best they can, and uh, just try and uh, you know as delicately as possible uh, remove the wall or lift the wall uh, from the worker. We haven't had eyes on the worker just yet, but it looks like they're just putting more and more support. Uh, doing the best that they can. Any word on the worker's condition? It's, it looks like they're communicating with that person. Uh, yes, uh, they have not give a formal uh, condition of the patient. However, it does appear that he is conscious. Uh, so uh, we'll find out here in just a moment. I'm not sure if that's, uh, well, we haven't had eyes on him just yet. But again, we had one other patient that they had just moved to an uh, ambulance, appeared that they were going to be in stable condition. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on this and continue to watch LA City Fire work to free a person that's pinned under the center block wall. It looks like uh, they have something that they're using there that uh, uh, could be some kind of a hydraulic uh, tool to prop that thing up. It's hard to say that thing that's mm -hmm. connected to the red cable there, uh, perhaps they'll put that to use. That's a heavy wall. I doubt whether they can physically lifted, even with, with a bunch of firefighters there, it, it's, it probably weighs a ton. Yeah, I would imagine that the, it'll, they'll need uh, much more than manpower here to help support the wall. Uh, and, of course, you know, with that person still pinned under there, they have to do it as, uh, uh, you know, as delicately as possible. Uh, you know, the wall itself, you can see, has already started to crumble. So uh, they, they want to make sure that uh, it doesn't continue to break down with that person still pinned underneath there. But again, we just saw the uh, more resources show up with more tools here and uh, they're putting them all to use here. Yeah, I mean, over a dozen uh, firefighters there working on uh, getting this person out from underneath the concrete wall, which is like Eric said, I would imagine a big job an incredibly delicate one at that and a really scary situation for the individual underneath all that. They've already rescued one person uh, who was transported to a hospital, one of the construction workers. There's still another person trapped underneath there. We're going to continue to watch this situation in Pacoima and uh, bring an update when we get more information. Rich, thank you.